welcome back to Artificial Antics, where Rico and Mike will talk about the implications and opportunities around artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. In today's episode, titled, All We Wanted to Do Was See Darth Vader and Christopher Walken in a Bar Fight, the guys will be testing out an AI video generation and editing tool called Pictory. What's up, everybody? This is Mike <laughs> from Artificial Antics. I got my co-host Rico here. Uh, Rico and I have been doing a little more antics than artificial uh, intelligence for the last five minutes here. Getting stoked for this episode of the show. Uh, we're going to be talking about text to media, uh, really particularly text to video and uh, media with Pictory, which is a product that is a competitor to Canva. And it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, and we're going to be uh, demoing it and playing around with it in the lab, right? And uh, and so Rico, one of the things uh, I was looking at AI news and man, I'm telling you, it's moving super fast. We all know that. Uh, is anything interesting on your radar tonight? Yeah, so uh, interestingly enough, you know, you and I both have a fondness for gaming, right? It's got a special place in our heart. Uh, I found out that uh, there's actually a, an AI company called Speechly, um, who has been around, I think, since 2016 is when, when their inception was. Uh, but their aim is to use AI or use AI tools to help make a, um, a safer space and, and have some kind of, you know, applications working with gaming companies. So they've paired with Roblox to create a safer environment. So what that's going to do is a chat moderation, uh, lobby moderation, that type of thing. But what, what it made me think of was just uh, back on August 31st, uh, Call of Duty actually uh, implemented something like that. And I think uh, they're, they're called Modulate AI. I think it was okay. the name of their their company, right? Uh, Toxmod is the name of their product. Yeah, it's modulate.ai. And they're going to start policing lobbies and uh, you know, uh, voice comms in the game using AI tools that will um, automatically so Rico, look for you're, you've been banned since August 31st. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, that's no, basically the tell. Because no. <laughs> I listen, I play with you. I play Call of Duty with you. <laughs> Come on. And you're, you're, yeah, listen, well, here's the thing though, dude. So, and I know you're about to get into this, but I also kind of want to mention you here. I think sure. about this and I think, you know, you're doing it in fun, right? You're goofing right, off, right. we're all laughing. Saying stupid things to people. All the time, right? right? Like, yep. I, I mean, I don't do it nearly as much as you do it, but I definitely do it <laughs> sure. too. And the thing is, Ever since you told me about this story, I've been a little right. more uh, reserved, uh, you <laughs> yes, know, at the end of the those lobbies. matches. And yeah. so it's it's act, even in the beginning, in the end, and so has everyone else. And I think to myself, yeah. wow, the- yeah, toxicity, sure, yeah. I, I get it right. But the, the fact of the matter is, <laughs> I, I know it's just you and I, and I'm sure nobody else in the world likes toxic gaming but uh, right. you and i kind of like sort of enjoy that element right like it's rust fun. call of duty we, any yes, of those exactly, games yes dude. yeah for anybody like, who doesn't know what rust is yeah, yeah yeah exactly it's it's like um you know uh, talking smack you know uh, playing around and you know just messing with people a little bit just to see if you get a bit of a rise out of them right it's sure. hilarious right get it leads to some yeah. really hilarious results fun death comms yeah yep. right fun death comms exactly and basically folks for for folks that don't know what that means is death comms is like okay so we're going I, I kill somebody in call of duty right and they like whatever they said right after i killed them it comes through to my to my uh you know uh right. speakers so i can hear what they said and it's hilarious i mean it's like always so funny. Stuff, it's it sure always is. funny right exactly exactly and uh and so uh, Rico, I'll, I'll let you keep going with your point, but I just wanted to mention that really quick because it was something sure. that I noticed myself doing right after you yes. mentioned that. And and ultimately, that's what it's going to do. It, you know, it's 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 changing player behavior. It's it's a positive thing, uh, but I think it's a double edged sword. And you know, my my point is to bring both the articles forward. Uh, Roblox is more of a kids game. I know there are people who are older that I, you know I'm not overly familiar with it. So from from a safety standpoint, it's great because. Uh, moderators can't catch any, everything, right? Uh, and hate speech is obviously a problem nowadays. Yes. And, you know, uh, children do play these games, whether they should or not. You have a bunch of different age groups that are playing those games. And uh, the moderators can't be everywhere all the time. So if they use the AI to cut out things like hate speech, a uh, racist speech, you know, um, any any of the, the protected speeches, you know, that are out there that, that shouldn't be mm-hmm. in the sure but the issue that i take with it is the fact of now you're being policed by ai like yeah. it, like it, it may just be video games 
but that opens a door, right? And it's a very slippery slope down to like, remember Demolition Man? We talk about that movie oftentimes. And if anybody has not seen Demolition Man from the late 90s, uh, there's actually a list, you know, a system in the future that every time you curse, every time you say something that's not allowed, you get a fine. You get a, and it spits it out from this machine that looks like a hand dryer to me. Right. It's in a bathroom, but, but that's the point. So um, it's interesting. I, I like to see that AI, again, we talk, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to talk later in the episode about collaboration between AI companies, but being policed by AI this early on, uh, it'll be interesting to see how many people get player bans just simply from based upon their speech. And if they take it to the point of death comms and that type of thing, because ultimately people are alone in their home or, you know, you're in your household and what you say in your own home is whatever. But, um, you know, if you, if you can't control your temper and you say the wrong thing, then uh, you may be banned from Call of Duty. So, so yeah, no, for sure. And one of, there are a couple things uh, to note here. One, I was, I was thinking about something the other day. I was watching something on one of uh, the business podcasts that I, that I listened to, and they were talking about the Hawthorne effect. Do you know what that is? No, I haven't heard of that. Yeah. So basically the Hawthorne effect is the act, you know, the act of being observed changes your behavior right? Oh, okay. For better, yep. for worse, right? It isn't always for better. It isn't always for worse. And so right. the fact of the matter is though, the right, it changes your behavior. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, and, and the thing is they've done a whole bunch of studies on how to mitigate the effect of this in UX and what, whatnot, because we know the world, right, is going to a more, let's say, observed uh, state of being, right? <laughs> yes, like, it seems clearly, to be, for sure. since 2000, we're more observed than we used to be, right? Like <laughs> You can't go and, anywhere without being yeah. on a camera. And, and, so, and so nowadays, though, even more so, right, with AI tooling coming in and whatnot, um, you're, you're seeing this, right? So, you know, it's sort of like the, the, the old joke of, oh, I've got my recorder here, you know, that's recording everything with my phone. But, and, and, and people joke about that, but like, now it's like very clear and in your face with this. It's like, no, you are being watched. You are being moderated, you, you know? And the thing is like, I agree, like certain hate speech and whatnot. Like I, I get that, like that, that to me, that feels like, all right, that makes more sense. But like people just say a lot of goofy stuff that isn't necessarily hate speech that is aggressive. Right. And I do not think that you should be banned for all of that, right? Like, I mean, sure. there's, there's an element of, uh, of of smack talk, right? Um, and right. if I were it's, swearing, it's I'd say game. another thing, right? It's literally just part of the yep. game. It's part of the experience, right? And, right. Uh, and, yeah. And, and you and I both know, you know, we, we've been in lobbies where uh, the wrong thing has been said. Oh, of whether, course. Whether, Many you know, the, and, and what do we do? Oftentimes what people do, you know, and of course there's a, a juvenile element to it, to the game where a lot, there's a lot of teenagers in there and they kind of go along with it. But then you'll have some that actually will be heavy handed and say, hey, that's not the right thing to say. You know, you shouldn't say right. that. And that's what AI is going to do here is it's it's going to moderate that for them. Um, so, yeah, it, it may uh, save some jobs or, or well, mm -hmm. not really save jobs, I guess, but it may save some money uh, by not needing people to review that type of thing when it's reported. But it'll be interesting to see what words they actually include in that. Um you know, because uh, let's face it, there are some curse words that are like lower tiered curse words that aren't exactly hate speech that if you got banned off of a game you just paid 60 or 70 dollars for um, because you're in your home alone and lost your temper, you know, one time. Yeah, um, well, it'll be interesting to see what the player base does with that. It really will be because I know it's already a, a struggling uh, a game because of. Uh, streamers and, and what they like to see versus the player base itself. Right, and that right. So yeah, this is just another sure. thing that's a, it'll be a catalyst to see what happens. So anyway, the point I just wanted to make was being policed by AI is now becoming a thing. I think we're going to see it in other applications in the future. Uh, but now Roblox and Call of Duty are two, you know, pretty big game. Uh, oh, games yeah. That are out there. Yeah. Ro Roblox. I mean, that's like, you know, kid, kids play it, adults play it, whatever. Sure. And, uh, and same with Call of Duty, right? Like, and we're gonna probably see it in more games as well. Very interesting stuff that's come up in the news with that at the Roblox thing, I wasn't on my radar. And, and mm -hmm. really like thinking about companies that build their whole presence around doing this type of moderation, right? Like what was right. the one you said was called? It's modulate, yeah, modulate. Yeah, mod AI. I mean, it was yep. like, and whoa, I was like, yeah. So that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, yep. Just like any other, you know, uh, niche, right? Like this is a very niche thing. And it's going to be something that we'll see more and more of, right? 
And uh, so, yeah, one quick thing I want to mention, um, you know, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but one of the, the news things that I've seen recently, uh, it's been on my radar for a while and we've talked about it a little bit, is Microsoft Office 365, the co-pilot, which yep. is all of the AI enabled features. These are things like being able to like, you know, talk to your spreadsheet and get like quick data and stuff like mm -hmm. a lot faster than, you know, building queries or formulas. Right. Right. Um, that is getting closer and closer to being available for more companies, more people. Right now, I think that it's just available to 600 companies. And unfortunately, my company is not one of them. And <laughs> right. we're on we're on the waiting list. We're on the waiting list. But, you know, they were talking about the demand and everything for it. And um, and so they're getting, you know, they're getting there. Right. And, uh, sure. you know, I, we talked about it on uh, one of our other news segments. But OpenAI also now has like the, the uh, enterprise version of it. So and I'm on that waiting list as well. We'll see who gets back. <laughs> no, I, for, for us. Right. We use Office 365 already. And it's mm -hmm. like we were talking about what we could share with AI, what we can't, whatever. And the reality is, it's like. The, the ideal situation is that you're already in the tool where the data exists and you just like query the data. You know what I mean? Like talk to right. it. So with these, with these LLMs and whatnot. So that's the ideal situation because, you know, sure. People say, oh, well, it's a third party. Maybe they're using, maybe they're using some, <laughs> but really no, like Microsoft owns part of open AI. Like there's a whole thing. It is what it is. Like it's that's already business. there, right? It's right. already there. Right. So collaborations. Um, yeah. So that exactly. And we're, you know, we're talking about, uh, collaborations with uh, OpenAI and Canva, right? So right. OpenAI uh, built a uh, Canva plugin that uh, supported with the ChatGPT Plus account. Another right. one that we were talking about recently too, uh, funny enough with Canva as well, they're kind of all over the place, right? Is HeyGen. So that's text to video and uh, Canva and HeyGen have teamed up right yep. to, to give some of those features uh across the across the lines of the two products so we'll get into the episode now folks so we're going to be talking about text to video with pictory and we're just going to dive right in excellent all right, all right. so you, got, you go ahead uh you've got the wheel there and uh let's see what what she can do this is something that uh our good buddy matt wolf from uh future tools suggested and uh he played around with a little little bit i thought it was kind of interesting and uh we're gonna be playing around with pictory tonight uh so let's go ahead and try the uh script of video because i think that's what we had discussed yeah sounds good so as the viewers can see you know there's 15 days on this trial this mm -hmm. is the free trial version and there's three videos left and of course they have a paid plan to go premium all right Oop. so it looks like 19 a month will mm -hmm. get you 1.5 million story block visuals 30 videos a month mm -hmm. up to 10 minutes text to video 10 hours of video transcription a month 5,000 music tracks interesting 34 AI okay. voices huh so it seems like this kind of has some of the other stuff that we've been using built into it right like right that's I, an all in one yeah yeah I mean it's not like everything in one but it definitely has overlap but even like Descript right like um, you know, and, and, uh, you know, 11 labs, right? Like we just did an episode or we got an episode that we're working on, uh, cutting up with that 34 AI voices. Like that's interesting, right? Like, does that mean you can create your own AI voice? I'm not really sure. So, right. Uh, you know, with that, you could use some of the other services and overlay stuff, I guess. But, sure. Uh, interesting though. You look here at the 99 a month, uh, that's the team's version. Up to 12 minutes videos, you'll be able to create each video of up to 12 minutes, 12 minutes of video based on a prompt. Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So oh, it's actually that. Yeah, longer. so if you take it down, right. Mm -hmm. And this one, same thing. Right, right. Move the slider down for 60, 40 a month. So for folks at home that are listening and can't see this, Basically, um, they, they give you a number of videos per month and depending on how many videos you want, they actually decrease uh, the amount or the length of each video, right? So for instance, uh, at 60 videos a month, let's say uh, you could have a 30, 30 minute videos, right? 
Uh, but at uh, 240 videos a month, uh, it only gave you like seven minutes or something per. So yep. that's kind of interesting to me, at least. Must be, uh, I, I guess, uh, storage might, would be my guess. Maybe they're right. limited on storage or something on the other end. Yeah, that makes sense. And a little bit of a discount there if you go yearly, of mm -hmm. course, which is typical of what we see. Yeah, so there's the, uh, the paid services for it. Uh, okay, so let's try this one. And uh, we were gonna use. I, I should have brought up the G drive. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, the old G drive. A little Lily in the Kindness Kingdom. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. You know, it's in the it's in the favorites. So as soon as I open that up, it's like boom right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm I'm really excited. About, you know what I like Rico too is uh, we haven't released it yet, but with Eleven Labs we did the same thing. We've got this one script where we're, we're writing a kid's book, right? Like a kid's story about Lily and the Kindness Kingdom. And so we're kind of using the same script to generate a few different pieces of AI art and, and audio. And so it's, right. you know, it's uh, consistent, I guess is my point, right? So we're seeing it to generate pictures, to generate video, to generate audio, right? And it's the same thing. And so we kind of get to see the different takes on it from the different pieces of software. Right. Yeah, I love I love how this is building out too. It's really fun with each product that we use. So I'm just going to take uh, one of the pages here. Uh, for those who can't read it, it says, Once upon a time in a faraway land, there existed a magical kingdom known as a kindness kingdom. In this remarkable place, the air was filled with laughter, the streets were paved with compassion, and the people all wore crowns made of smiles. In the heart of the kindness kingdom uh, lived a young child named Lily. And of course, this isn't very descriptive and stuff, so we'll definitely get to see uh, what it does with, you know, that kind of input. Yeah, for sure. Really, really quick. Is this the total amount of text that you did, did your little video thing? Uh, no, this is this is actually like one of the pages from the book. So let's. This OK, OK. Do we want do we want to do the exact same thing we were doing before? with try like the, the intro. Yeah, because you sure. made a video. Let's yeah, see we'll Pictory's see take does. on it. Right. Yeah. yeah, it'll because what Rico did, folks, and this was super cool, man. It like still gets me really excited. Um, Rico created like a little mock video based on um, the, the uh, like the trailer, right, for this book. And it's probably about a minute long, I want to say. Maybe it's like 35 seconds long, but it's a decent amount of video, right, that really goes through that, um, the main ideas, right? So uh, what I'm interested to see here is Rico chose some images and some videos, right, to go along with the, uh, the, the sound and the... Uh, he's got some music in the background and some, you know, AI voice and whatnot. And so now what I'm really curious about is, um, you know, what does Pictory choose for us? So even sure. more automated, right? Next level automation. Okay, so yeah, what I so what I put in is that introduction, the same one we heard Brian read, right? When we yep. did uh, Eleven Labs, as you said. You yep. said so. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm excited choose a template oh this is interesting so it has ah. actual templates and stuff uh template is a combination of a combination of styles and branding and it can be easily edited under the respective tabs in the storyboard okay Let's see what we have to choose from here So basically, you could bake your branding into the the product, right? It gets something that is kind of tailored towards your your look and feel, right? Let's do the uh, what do you what do you think? Earth? Yes, yes, that's the one okay. for sure. Uh, and we'll do one by one because we're going to do this up, actually up on here. Mm -hmm. All right, so it seems to be analyzing. Uh, click on the items so we can know how to do it. Find relevant visuals. Add AI voice narration. Oh, you want it oh. all. You want it all. Bro. Yeah, I was. Oh, it only. Uh, so I clicked one thing and it, it went away. So it, I wasn't able to select multiple uh, options. There. I, I, that's right. Oh, so this is one thing that uh, that Matt Wolf from Future Tools mentioned, which is that the original uh, you know video is going to have watermarks and stuff baked in from right. the different services. But yep. you could, with the paid version, and maybe even like when you download it, you, you're able to say no watermark, right? Like it might be a paid thing. We'll have to check on that. We can figure. I, out. I would guess it's probably a paid thing. Yeah, I mean, that's how they would yeah. get people in. Right, uh, right. Uh, so should we preview here? Yeah, let's do it. We are officially in the lab. 
Yes. And tech we are tech to video. Oh. You did a better job, Rika. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is cute, but who's this random guy? That's that's kind of creepy. <laughs> what an underwhelming <laughs> output. Well, that's the episode, folks. <laughs> Thank you very much. We will no longer be playing with yes. this. No, we what we got to do now is if we can do it, if we still have enough credit to do it, we got to try and get like multiple things in there, right? Like voice narration was a big one, I think that we should have. Like this is not it, right? This is not even close no, to what we had before, right? This is so loud, dude. I don't know if that's really loud to <laughs> it's you. It's not. But... It's not that loud to oh. me. Yeah. Rico's eardrums are bleeding right now. <laughs> What is this? this is not I it. don't know. That's, this is that's not it so at all. Strange. This is not it. This is not it. I can't. It's a I, I long can't video here, though. Of it. I, can't, I can't. Should I have kept it going? No, I don't know. I can't no, you shouldn't have. Who, who's going to want? No, no, we're, we're good. We're good. We saw the gist of it. Um, so, Rico, now, yes. now, folks, we, we, we've got to we've got to show you Rico's creation here. I've got to have you do it. Um, you, you want to bring in yes, the other? yes. Bring okay. in, bring in Lily and the thing that you made because this is quite a bit better, right? And so, this is in my mind sort of illustrating that a human touch is paramount sometimes, right? Like even though Rico's using a bunch of AI tools to make this stuff, um, you know, having that human touch in there is 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 truly valuable, right? So. Uh, let's not lose the human touch and creativity is my point. Absolutely. We've seen that time and time again. Uh, somebody's been watching videos on the antics account. <laughs> cool. It's so funny. I go, but I go back and forth between all, you know, all of our accounts, of course. And, and uh, that's what ends up happening. I keep messing. Mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. so, all right, here we go. Reminds me of uh, Van Helsing. Yes. Yeah. The opening, of course, with the castle. Yes. In the heart of this enchanting kingdom lived a spirited child named Lily. Lily's eyes sparkled with curiosity, and her heart was as big as the sun. She had heard whispers about the wonders of Kindness Kingdom, stories that made her heart skip with excitement. And so, one bright morning, with the sun painting the sky in shades of gold, Lily set out on a journey Marvelous. to discover the secret behind the kingdom's extraordinary kindness. Little did Lily know, this journey would take her on an adventure that would touch not just her own heart, but the hearts of all who crossed her path. As she embarked on this path of empathy and compassion, she would learn that kindness held a power beyond magic and that understanding others' feelings was the true key. Here it comes, folks. The best <laughs> transition ever in the history of video. <laughs> Join Lily as she ventures through forests and over rivers, as she helps creatures in need and learns the joy of being a friend to all. Get ready to step into a world where every act of kindness creates of happiness. This is even lagging on my screen. I'm sure it won't actually lag. It, in it the actually, place. last time we did it, it lagged. Did it? Recording okay. lagged, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lily and the Here's the transition right here. Yeah. The adventure of a young heart will inspire us all to make our world a better place. One act of Love kindness. Love it. Woo! I feel like I'm at the fireworks. <laughs> that's uh yeah that's so good yeah so uh picture we really uh swing and a miss at least with the you know the same input and mm -hmm. of course we knew it wasn't going to pan out a whole story you know and make it happen like that but but let's so let's good. now try and see if there's something better that we can do right like like another like let's let's try again right like let's not make the one swig and a miss like the only swing right we'll give it three uh, strike we have three videos uh we'll give it three strikes so at least give it a try here uh so we'll, you want to go ahead with this uh so it looks like oh okay so at the bottom there it actually mm -hmm. says what it's recommended for right so you can do uh, educational videos okay listicle videos i'm not familiar with that term is that something you know nope i mean i i feel like i knew it at one point i have no idea what it is right now so sure coaching videos and step-by-step -step guys okay so so it's not really one of those generative ai uh text to videos like, like uh, we were talking about it's more 
I guess education wise, you know, if you were to put together an educational video, you drop in your script for that, then you're going to get some of that stock footage. Mm -hmm, and of course, mm -hmm. and I also noted that there was no uh, narration there. Well, that's right? the I, whole point. Like it, it said, okay, let's, let's try it again. Hit proceed sure. again. Okay. Oh, you know, you know what we could do here? We what? could dump in, uh, we could dump in the, um, one of the eBooks that we've created. Mm hmm. Maybe a portion of that, like a step-by-step -step guide. Sure, sure. Let's give it a shot. Let go into scene settings really quick. Scene settings. It's up in the right, like kind of up and over to the right a little bit. Let's see. Scene. Yep. Right. Uh. To the. Yep. Right there. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, auto visual se visual selection. Create new scenes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um. Sure. All right. Not quite what I was thinking. I thought maybe that would be the whole like, hey, you know, use narration and do this and do that. Right. So but, do, do do me a favor. Paste the Lily thing in there again. Exactly the same thing. And let's let's look at what those other options were. And like, then you can click a different one this time. Like I'm trying to get so, consistency here. So you want to go up here to scene settings? No, I want to hit proceed. Oh, okay. And just see if it's and, like, and then, uh, and then look at, you remember how there were those other options where it had like the bullets or whatever, and you could click them. That's kind of what I want to take a look at. Well, I'm just curious. Okay. There's like nothing there. Yeah. It'd be interesting here if you could do like negative prompts too, right? Like, you know, no adults or something right? like that, right? Like, right. you know, specifically eliminate those types of things. All right, so it's creating the storyboard. Let's um, let's see what we get at the end, because I remember it having something that we could do here, and I want to take a look at those options again. What's uh, kind of cool there, too, I don't know if you noted this, Mike, but at the top it says that we still have three videos left, so I, I guess if you don't save or download the video, uh, it doesn't. So cool. if you're not pleased with it, so that, that's pretty cool. So let's see if there's a way. What what's that audio? See the little microphone there, thing there down below. Uh, it's, it's slightly down below the frame of the video. Right here. Okay. You see Apply the yeah AI voiceover. Yes, 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 upload yes, yes. Voiceover. Oh wow, we could even upload a voiceover. Well, do we have Brian. a voiceover for this? Our boy Brian. So we'll grab Brian. We're gonna drop him into here. Uh, oh, background music, bro. Look at that. You can even do Where? background music, right? Just slightly above. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. In the heart of this. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. This is Brian. I love hey, Brian. Brian. I love Thanks for Brian. joining us, yeah. brother. All right. Should we just give it a preview now? No, let's try the background. Wanna, Let, let's like really more? play around with this sucker. All right. Let's good. Go to background music. I like the way you think. Loving right. family. And what's cool, you, you see that it even has a descriptive thing next to it, like Which authentic, is beautiful, great. bittersweet. I love it. Oh. I love it. I love it. Let's just roll with that one because that one isn't yeah, bad. It says, it yeah. says building, yeah. so it's, it'll be curious. So it should you want to listen to more of it or are we just going to do it like let it go and see what happens? Let's let's choose loving family. Let's look at voiceover there really quick. I just want to see what's in there. Sure. Yep. Uh, uh, maybe that's the same like the thing. Oh, options. okay. Okay. So these are probably yeah. like the 34 voices or whatever that you can choose. Sure. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. And this is okay. where Brian is. Uh, so once yep. we drop that in there, it actually moved it over into my upload. So that's, ah, that's easy. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Yep. All right. All right. Excellent. All right. And uh, recent, we don't really need that. That's just, uh, all right. Okay. And then um, it looks like we could edit each scene, eh? Like click on a couple other scenes, just kind of pop, you know, let's see the little uh, scene thing at the bottom. Yeah. Let's, uh, I don't like um, this creepy... Whatever yeah, that. yeah. Let's try and get him out of there. So oh, wait. We... Look at this over here. What's that? Oh, oh. So Ooh. it's looking like it's actually this is set up very similar to Canva. Right. That's what I was thinking. It looked very similar to me when I was looking at it. Yeah. Me, so here's it, like, the visual yeah. thing. Oh, OK. Yeah. So here here we are right there. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's what it is. OK. So, so that's each one of our scenes. I wonder what's this do? Oh, search similar. Oh, cool. So what it did was it took some of the wording from that, right? Smile, generosity, melody, mm -hmm. place or story. Mm -hmm. And it found this gentleman uh, smiling, but sorry, sorry, dude, you're, you're fine. And <laughs> listen, it's, it's us, not you. Okay. It's, it's, us, right. it's us, not it's you. It's not you. <laughs> uh, definitely taking some time here. All right. This is, it's this not. is pretty cool though. I mean, honestly, 
um, you know, folks, we live for these types of experiments, right? Where we're going in, we're digging into something and, you know, finding some of the similarities, finding some of the challenges, right? Uh, Because there are going to be challenges, you know, in in many things. And if we've conveyed anything through the podcast so far, it's that we're a couple of regular people trying to try this stuff out as well and bring it to other people to, to show them, you know, there are many moments of trial and error. Yes. These tools. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we're not just showing you that really cool one demo that you'll never be able to recreate. Because that that's something that really bugs me. You know, it's like this, yes. like oh, this major text video or whatever, and make a movie, and it's like, yeah, you could do it, but like the amount you need to actually do manually there isn't like quite like making a mo- actual movie, but like it's a lot, right? It's not as simple as the the quick thing they show you. So all I did there was I just swapped it out for Whoa. another lady that's smiling. This uh, so this and- this this guy right here, he wasn't paying like he wasn't paying enough attention. Can you switch it out again and like sure. I'll, I'll pay attention this time? <laughs> yeah, you know you sound like me. <laughs> um so all I did was I selected that scene in which so you go to visuals visuals, you click on the scene, then you go to visuals. Over on the left side okay. it's set it's like Canva, the other things you have the yep. option, each one of the visuals as if it's like a slide uh, with multiple layers with the visual mm-hmm. text elements, all the other stuff. So uh, I clicked on smile uh, because it gave us these based on what the text in there says. So uh, cool. Text for that scene. For those who can't see it, uh, it says it was a place where every smile had a story and every act of generosity had its own melody. So the AI has actually grabbed those words out and then tried to find imagery that goes along with that. Uh, and then it presents us with uh, at the top of our visuals. Once we go into that section, we see smile, generosity, mm-hmm. melody, place and story. Uh, so now we're just uh, scrolling down through looking for you know another visual. Um, you can select any one of these. So I, I clicked on, you know, the other one that showed up there. Uh, and then of course you see, maybe we'll do this one. This one is kind of blurry in the background. You lose her eyes though. That's the only thing. I guess you lose all their eyes, right? Like, right. Cause the text is directly over and look at this, you know, there's, there's the, you know, oh, so you can actually move it. Oh, bro. Look at this guy. Thanks for teaching me something, Rico. How to how to use editing <laughs> tools. Appreciate you, it's man. Been, it's been a big week for Rico. Let me just say, it's been a big week of teaching Mike stuff this yeah, week. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I wouldn't. I don't know what I'd do without you, to be honest. <laughs> it's too funny. Oh man. Um. So let's see. Yeah. So obviously, the, again, this is made for educational videos. It's not really doing uh, what we want it to do, uh, which is I can't really manipulate this text box very well. I wonder if I click on text. I was uh, just gonna say, I bet, I bet you probably can do like at oh, least something. Oh no, I'm gonna control Z that. I didn't okay. want to apply that uh, okay. to the same position each one. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I can move it. This is it. really uh, flexible. This is like I wonder, like to me, it's so it's like uncanny how close to Canva it looks. It's like is this made by yeah, the same people? Like I, I, I was wondering. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I can make the text a little smaller. It's it's a bit harder to see when I do that though. So we're gonna keep it at forty-two. Yeah. Keep, keep it. Keep it what it is. Um. I wonder about you could change. I'm sure you could change like the font and stuff. Is there like a I spot wonder, to like change well, the opaque, template opacity. or like yeah or opacity? Yeah, for sure. Opacity. Sorry. I don't um, know what that. I don't know if which one of us is right. To be honest, tomato, tomato. I think <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those words. I think I've read uh, right, but I don't think I've heard it a ton of times in life. So um, write in, folks. Uh, get on our socials, antics TV. Yeah, <laughs> email is it opacity us. Let us know how to or opacity. Or opacity. <laughs> That's right. Um, wow. I so that that's definitely an element. It doesn't look like I can get those little, you know, corner mm-hmm, mm-hmm. buttons, the pitons. Mm-hmm. Let's see, what we have here text width, background color. I wonder if I can oh. adjust. There's got to be opacity in there, dude. Like, I, I'd be very surprised if you couldn't do that. One would think. And I've got that selected. That's the only option for that. Goodness. Oops. Unfortunate. And it doesn't work like Canva. So you did see that I, I was able to right click it and paste does come up. So it does work with the right click on the mouse right. instead of viewing it like a web page, which is great. Yeah, I, I'm kind of at a loss with that. Text with full width. Text shadow color. Background color. And that's capitalization. And well, you know, hey, again, if anybody's used Pictory, uh, we're interested to find out if uh, if you're able to edit the opacity. Hey, actually, go into the elements. Go sure. into elements really quick. That's probably different than what I think it is. Uh, no, okay, so it's just this stuff. 
yeah, that's, that's like what, emojis and stuff. It's, yeah, it's what gives. I thought. It's actually what I thought it was, but it's not the right thing. Um, okay. What about styles? Two down. Uh, template style. Gotcha. Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, all right. So let's click this and see what happens. Sure. Oh, sure. look at this now. Wow. So that's completely different. It also... Um, it also is better to be honest like you could actually it, it is that you can see through it the, yeah. the difficult part with that is if the text doesn't reading fit. it now yeah and yeah, also it doesn't fit, fit. So yeah yeah, let's good. see. Uh, let's bring it down to 42 as we had the other. We'll bring this down just slightly so you can see it because uh, I think the sunset behind her kind of washes sure, it out. Sure, sure. I, I, can, I can read that. I can even read the top piece of that. So sure. All right, cool. Well, Beautiful. look at the look at, can, look at the can, amazing edits we've just made. <laughs> yeah, can we can we apply that to the rest of the things? Like I forgot we the can. button. Let's try that and see what happens. And let's see how the rest of them look. Uh, so it only that only actually um, does the uh, the positioning of the oh, text. Oh, what, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Is there a way to update the style of all of them like in one shot? I just did it. Oh, awesome! Awesome. There we go. Easy. easy Stand money. back. Easy Stand money. Back. Easy money. <laughs> move and of course it didn't it didn't change the text for those of you who can't see what we're doing uh the text or the font size rather uh, and actually move this one so, back again so, so no 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 but listen see the thing where you had the text selected and on the right hand side it said apply to all you're right there. see how it says apply to all no up up to up into the right just slightly up here somewhere up up to the right to the right to the right <laughs> to the more left. right to more right more right right there more right right there hit that yeah there you go i see what you're talking about now yeah. okay that, that's what i saw earlier uh the only unfortunate part with that is that uh some of the colors i guess the background colors mm. do we and change the uh, yeah that, that, that's fine let's just roll with it and uh and play it now and see what we get you don't want to try to line the text up oh yeah fine do that yeah let's create a quality product thanks rico <laughs> yeah i think we're switching roles i don't know what's going yeah, on dude i don't know what it is <laughs> this has been quite the week the perfectionist um, Rico. <laughs> yes, all of a sudden yeah i love inside jokes i hope to be a part of one someday yeah <laughs> Well, you know how else we're switching roles is there was a point where um, you uh, you said your your upstairs office there where your uh, recording was really hot, and yep. we had we've had the air conditioning off for a while. This is yep. the first day that it's mattered. And I'm like <laughs> sweating over here. So it's actually kind of hot. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> yes. Yes. So now I understand. Like I was always like, eh, just What's suffer through on? it. Come on. What are you talking sure. about? Yeah. We still have the AC in here. You know, we, we yeah. have the window ACs going yeah. on, but uh, we're about to pull those out because it's just now starting to get cold. Right. Fall. So, yeah. So I don't know how much, if there's any text below that, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it kind of looks like it there, but once you pull it to the top of the, uh, the scene itself, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't go any further to see what's below it. So oh, we'll, we'll just roll with it. Okay. okay. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's preview this. Sounds good. I'm uh, very excited about uh, seeing how it applies Brian's voice. Oh, yeah. Brian? <laughs> uh, Brian? Sound check, Brian. So I, I would definitely say that it looks like it cut off some of the text in the bottom. Yeah. I like the music. It's building, but to what? Toward what? I'm uncertain. I don't understand why Brian's voice isn't working. This makes me so uh, sad. Let's go back. All We're right. going to go back All here right. and just see where Brian went. Brian, Brian go. Brian, we love you. Brian, you <laughs> you are you are part of this show, Brian, at this point. Uh, you and Emily. Let's click this. That's what. So when I went back to audio, mm -hmm. there's a actually it shows the file that we uploaded and there's oh. an auto sync feature. We did not click that. Uh, so now we're applying it to the entire In the heart time. of this there enchanting kingdom lived a spirited child named Lily. Lily's eyes sparkled with curiosity, and her heart was as big as the sun. She had heard whispers about the... So now you see, too, that it's cueing the scenes off of Brian's pace or his cadence of yes. speed. Yes, yeah. yes. Yep. Interesting. Yes. Wonders of Kindness Kingdom, 
stories that made her heart skip with excitement. And so, one bright morning, with the sun painting the sky in shades of gold, Lily set out on a journey to discover the secret behind the kingdom's extraordinary kindness. Little did Lily know, this journey would take her on an adventure that would touch not just her own heart, but the hearts of all who crossed her path. Here's a As she better. embarked on this path of empathy and compassion, she would learn that kindness held a power beyond magic, and that understanding others' feelings was the true key to unlocking a world. Okay, so you see what it did there? It looped that, that image because the image was shorter yes. than the actual narrative. Yeah. So. Oh, where smiles were brighter, laughter was sweeter, and friendships were forever. Join Lily as she ventures through forests and over rivers, as she helps creatures in need and learns weird. It sounds like it's, it tomorrow. sounds different. Like the the Brian part sounds different to me. Like it sounds like it's different than what was in your video. But who? I don't. I'm not worried about breaking that that down right now. I'm just. I just something I noticed. I did. I did notice um, when we played it back in the edit. Uh, the edit that we've sent off mm. uh, to be uh, fully edited. In that one, there was some degradation in sound from playing it through oh. YouTube. Like we, there was some sound quality loss. Uh, Interesting. That I didn't that. Yep, okay. So. Okay. All right. I don't well, know if that's, that's good happening to know. here or not. Or sure. Hard, sure. So. Could be. Could be. Need to step into a world where every act of kindness kind of creates cool ripples of happiness. That. And Absolutely. where the magic of empathy weaves connections that bridge even the widest gaps. And of course, it lives back. <laughs> Def Welcome definitely the cut off the text of there. And the kindness kingdom. Yep. Where the adventure of a young text heart text will inspire us all to make our world a better place, one act of kindness at a time. Brian yeah, can so, do no wrong in my mind. <laughs> Brian can do no wrong. Great voice. And for those of you who don't know who missed the last episode or you know haven't seen it yet, um, that that voice is actually AI generated. We used uh, Eleven Labs, and uh, Mike and I went through a sequence uh, and input the introduction to our book that we're writing, the children's book. Um, and then Brian, of course, read that introduction, and then we've downloaded the sound. So that's an Eleven Labs section that we did, uh, playing around with their tools. Another fantastic ai tool but that is that is ai speaking all right so uh we we're trying to kind of shoehorn uh this into making it do something that it's not capable of doing okay so obviously we said the script of video that we were using is for educational videos listicle videos again not not sure what that is I have to look that up coaching videos and step-by-step -step, step guides uh but mike just noted that the next option next to it is article to video and we just so happen to have a famous blogger here Rico on the podcast. No, this is actually uh, Mike Onslow. Oh, he's yeah. not a famous blogger. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so we're going to copy and paste one of Mike's um, articles on responsible AI. Uh, it's called the human side of responsible AI. And we'll go ahead and hit proceed here and see what happens. Because that's what we do in the lab. We that is what we we hit that button. We, <laughs> we full just send full send. What's going to have a full yeah. send exactly all the time? Yep. I will say too, um, it didn't take a heck of a lot of time to generate those last ones either. And I, it, it is relatively simplistic to be fair. You know, it's just some mm -hmm. text over some imagery, but pairing it together, it did a pretty good job. Look yeah. at this. Um, wow. So, so there's only eight scenes. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to see what it comes out with Mike. We'll sure. Next here. Yeah. Let's not even uh, for toggle. those of you who can't see, there's an image of the top of Mike's article on the left side of the screen. And on the right, it has an AI powered summary, which just breaks down each scene that's going to show us mm -hmm. at the top right. It has a next uh, option. So I'm going to hit that and see where it takes us. Okay. So it's bringing us back to that templates library. Uh, Mike, this is your article, man. So why don't you go yeah, ahead? Yeah, let me let me let me pick. Here. Let me pick for sure. Uh, what was that business one? It was near the top. Uh, I think it was Small Businessman. <laughs> Small Businessman magazine. <laughs> right Listen, here. I don't only subscribe to Mad <laughs> Magazine. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's just do the scroll down a little bit. Do the new imaging techniques. One, techniques one. That one's cool. Science. Science. I, I love. I love science. Weird science. All science. Right there. Right. And also, for those of you who don't know, uh, one of the games that we play here on the lab, well, that I play, is that Mike will be telling me where to click on the screen. Sometimes I don't see it. Other times I just 
<laughs> move around with the cursor to mess with Mike. Uh, it's up to you, the viewer, to figure out which times I'm playing and which times I'm not. So. Right. That's the game I play is trying to figure out which times he's messing around. <laughs> and we see how how patient Mike actually is. Oh, That's yeah. That's the fun yeah. part of the game. <laughs> so... Um, okay, so it's uh, it's generated the scenes now with each one. We're just going to go ahead and preview here. It's too bad we didn't have uh, Brian reading these or maybe oh, Emma Brian. or one of the other yeah, voices. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. Uh, I hit preview. Uh, it's generating the video now. What would you say? Like 30 seconds to a minute, I think each one of them has taken. Each iteration yeah, done. yeah, just, just about, just about. I mean, some of them are even a little Ooh. quicker. So it's kind of zoomed in on uh, some imagery here, <laughs> the head of Mike's article. Maybe some I like the image. music. I like the music it picked. Honestly, this is pretty cool to me. Like our our image, it cut off some of the good pieces, so it didn't really work out. But like these other images that it chose are all fine. Like this looks really good to me. I'm I'm pretty impressed. What it's making me think of is I, I have seen uh, this, this one. That slides a little bit weird. I'm not sure how loud that. Yeah, no, it's not loud that music is. Not loud on my side, it's it's incredible. That I don't okay. know what setting that is where. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what it makes me think of is like uh, educational TikToks. You know, if you see some of those are yes introductions uh i've seen introductory videos on articles where you know we'll say like three like at the top of medium it says three minute read but you'll see this little video and you click it and it will go through that so i i think that's where these are coming from is that type of tech well you know and and one of the things that i think about all the time right is like people want to consume in different ways right like right. me i love audiobooks i mean i don't mind reading yep. either but like i love audiobooks like i can you, you, I could listen to them anywhere, right? And even an article sometimes, right. I'll just listen to it in the background because I can hear it and like kind of like take it in. Whereas, yep. you know, um, I, I'm somebody who always has two screens open, like two things open. Right. I'm, I'm always, li you know, got something out in the background. Yeah. I'm a multi-tab type of person, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, and so uh, having the ability, right, to give them a few different ways to consume your content, the same content, I think is yep. fantastic, truly. I mean, it, it absolutely is. And again, um, we, you know, we've talked about uh, incl inclusivity, right, uh, mm -hmm. with, you know, our ability and some of the other stuff. That's that's what this is. It's, it's bringing multiple media mediums for, for no matter how you learn or you know what you like to see for content so sure can we can we see if we can get uh somebody to read it like even one of their ai voices <laughs> like i'm just curious to see if we could do that because uh, that would be like i'd almost sign up just for that and i'd make a few of these like to be honest like these are these, that, that was pretty good i'm like i i don't like the way that it cropped our image but like or the image sure. that i had in there but like everything else was great Okay, folks. So um, Mike's, you know, you've heard what Mike wants me to do. So what I did is I clicked on audio. It, it uh, defaults to the background music. Mm -hmm. uh, we just went one uh, tab, I guess it is over, you know, one, one area over tab. Uh, to voiceover. Yep. And uh, we're just going to click one here. We're going to try Ava. Yes, Welcome exactly. It has been. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that. No. Uh, there. Adeline. <laughs> yes. Adeline's yeah. next. Uh, Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown the that same person. <laughs> Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown. You know, these voices Victory. are weak. These voices Welcome are weak. They're very clearly AI. It's not. Yeah. It's not as uh, that, that's not Brian. Brian. That's not my boy. That's not Eleven Labs. Yeah, Eleven Labs is booting it here. Maybe they mm -hmm. can collab. Welcome to Pictory. It is terrible. This is like Siri. Whoa, you know? baby. This is. Don't get me started on her, but. Ooh. Welcome that's to Pictory. Rough. It has been shown that video increase. It's I don't need to hear it anymore. I, that's it. I, we're not doing that. Like I would. Yeah. No, so now, that's... like me being somebody who might have used that, I might use this anyway to play around. But like, I was thinking, oh man, you could crank out a whole bunch of those like plug the videos right. like one after another, right? And so, yep. hang on, I'm not completely saying that I wouldn't do it, but I wouldn't use their audio or their voiceover. I would I would import right. Brian or somebody to read it. You're right? a quality guy. Yeah, you're yes. a quality guy. Yeah. You know, you're because again, it's representative of your brand, you right? Know, whether it's the Mike Onslow brand or the Antics brand, yes. whatever it happens yes. to be. So 
And you know, the other thing that this brings to mind, Mike, is a point we keep underscoring time and time and time and time again. We talked about this the other day. People see something now and it could be an actual video and they're going, well, is that AI? They like, All you know, like time, AI right? is progressing. Yes. And there are tools that we probably haven't even had our eyes on yet that it would blow our minds. But as you can see, it's still not there. You're mm -hmm. not doing deep right. fakes and stuff with these everyday applications that we're showing folks. So uh, for, for those in the media that are trying to fear monger and show this stuff, uh, you've really convinced a bunch of people that this AI stuff exists that does not exist or it's not being utilized in the way that you're saying it is. And here's a prime example where their product literally should have a voiceover option with a decent AI voice. And I'm sure they'll get there. You know, they're new like anybody right. else. But uh, but again, you're going to have to have a human element. You're going to have to utilize multiple tools to really get that output and that quality product at the end of the day. So human input, critical thinking, right? In, indeed, big... indeed. And you yep. know, what I was just thinking is uh, another one that we're going to want to uh, go through with folks is Hey Gen. Uh, we've done a mm -hmm. few little things with Hey Gen, and Hey Gen is also a text to video product that I am super impressed with, right? Uh, yep. Hey Gen has the ability uh, to use uh, already trained avatars. You can also create your own avatar, right? So I could have my you know own uh, trained video and then I could just type in a script and say, you know, uh, all right, this is me reading this script, right? With some stuff like, so it's more complex and advanced than what we're looking at here. Not to say that there's not a place for what we're looking at here too. Um, another one that we, uh, that we actually use to Rico to play around with was Slides AI, which is mm -hmm. uh, yes, text, that's right. text to PowerPoint, right? Which yeah, is again, fantastic. you know, it's funny because we're talking about text to video, text, text to speech and all that. But really in my mind, I'm thinking, gosh, it's kind of an all encompassing like text to media, right? It's like right. text to media. And so, um, you know, th it, this honestly, something like this, uh, even, you know, a few years ago or whatever, like this stuff just wasn't as omnipresent as it is now. It was very niche. And now there are multiple products that do this type of stuff. Like, Creating a presentation, a slideshow presentation. Who loves, who loves to manually do every slide? Like I sure as heck don't. No, <laughs> you do not. No, no yeah. No, no. But, I don't know the person who loves to do that, but like I I'm not sure about that person and their and their health. So we might want to give them like a little help with like some like slides AI. So yeah, so we're we're not gonna use the voiceovers here as we just went over. Uh, there's plenty of other areas to get the voiceover if you really want one for your video, but we're gonna, sure. we're gonna skip that. Uh, what did you think of the music, Mike? Did you wanna switch that out? Let's play it. Uh, I, I think I liked it, but let's play it one more time just to make sure. Okay. All right, so it's called Running Out of Time. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I actually like. I, th I thought it was good, yeah. with, especially when it was playing it behind the video. I thought it was yeah. actually really appropriate. So, I, I thought it did kind of feel like some of those videos I've, I told you about that I've seen. So. Right, right. Um, just hit preview, or you? Let, let's you uh, just hit. No, let's hit preview. Let's let's just run through it again and uh, see what we get. I think we All just right, did this go. though, right? Like this is the exact same thing. Did we changed it. Right. We, we were just. Yeah, that's right. We we were just gonna add a voiceover and. Uh, the, Cool. Yeah, we can stop this. We, that's fine. Yep. yep. All right. So, oh, cool. You know what I just saw? You can What's copy that? the preview link. So if you're yes. in marketing and you're building this stuff out and you need people to review it yep. without they having to fully team. generate, yep. that's awesome. Because then you're not like on the hook for like producing a video, right? Like and actually paying for it. Uh, so that that's that's actually really cool. Um, let's uh, let's go back to that top level again. So so this is the what was it article to um, to video? Yes. Yep. Uh, let's see what let's see what else they got. Let's go back to the other options and take a look. And uh, so edit editing edit video using text. Let's take a small video. Um, hopefully, I'm sure you have stuff. Uh, and and yeah, let's watch the tutorial. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, watch the tutorial on this. Sounds good. Oh, it's a YouTube link, of course. Why are you afraid of editing videos? This online tool this makes it easy. <laughs> if you can edit an email, you can edit a video, even if you've never made a video before in your life. Today, we're going to turn a podcast into a YouTube video. We just want to polish it up a little bit and add some captions to it. Let me show you how easy this is. To get started, choose the edit video using text tool, then click the proceed button. This is going to underwhelm me, I guarantee it, but I'm excited. Uh, yes, it feels that way. Yeah, same. <laughs> or click the upload button to choose a video from your computer and click proceed. 
Pictory is now transcribing your video and automatically adding subtitle captions for you. This can take a minute, so just let it <laughs> Great, do Great, YouTube thing. does that, thanks. <laughs> You'll see your video transcription here on the left side of your screen. Along Great, with some other does that. here in the top <laughs> toolbar. Right. Notice how Pictory automatically detects multiple speakers for you. You can even add the names of each speaker to help you organize your editing. Again, Next, you're quickly in, okay, through your transcript cool. to correct any No, that's, that's great. Hey, listen, I'm not knocking on it. I'm just kind of kidding around here, folks. Um, <laughs> this overlaps with a lot of the stuff we're already using, right, as I had mentioned early on. So, like, our video editing process is generally different than this. Um, this is, what is this, uh, two minutes, 25 seconds? Is that what, how yes. long that tutorial is? Yes, and there's multiple chapters. Let's scroll down slightly. I want to see what the rest of that text is. It says, edit videos without the timeline. Uh, yep. Clean your videos. Okay, let AI summarize your video. So I, I use um, tools for this, right? I'll use either ChatGPT or I'll use Claude AI to do a summarization. And how I do this, folks, is I take the entire transcript of our video and then I paste it into Claude or ChatGPT. And then I have kind of like a little routine that I do to, uh, to prompt it to generate me a good description and summarization, right? So um, again, you know, th these are things that you can, uh, you know, th this is built in, which is nice, uh, you know, but what I'm saying is there are other free tools as well out there that, that do the same thing. Sure. Uh, and then create small video clips, multiple at the same time. So we've looked at multiple things, multiple products that do this exact same thing. So we have yep. Canva does that, we have Opus, um uh, video was one yeah video um and we'll we'll post these uh these links as well and uh and then add b-roll so that's kind of interesting um, i'd yep. be interested to see how it uh how it adds b-rolls based on text prompts right because that's one it thing that like does it yeah because it's uh, like i will heavily heavily curate those b-rolls and it would be kind of nice if I didn't have to heavily, like I'll go into Descript right. and I'll search for the kind of video that I want. And then it's like, I put mm -hmm. it in, then I put some stuff on top of it. And by the time I get done with that, I've spent about five minutes on one scene, right? right. And some of our videos have hundreds of scenes. So um, yes. again, things that can save time folks with, uh, with tooling and AI. Yep, absolutely. So yeah, we kind of figured that would be under underwhelming and that it pretty much is. Um, and then we have visuals to video. We should we should try that video using edit video using text though. We should actually like post one of our episodes that you have in um, uh, in uh, G Drive. Just put it in here and let's play around with this for five minutes. This um, this is super worth it because like this is you know let's see right like we know what it says it can do. But one of the things like I was listening to another podcast and they were saying. They've got to kind of vet pretty much everything they talk about because when people talk about things, they generally overhype it, especially with AI. And uh, I kind of want to like see what see what you know behind the scenes, right? Like, how's that sausage get made with with this uh, video editing and text prompts? So we've gone into the uh, to the video editing portion of it, and, and you can see at the top it has an option for those who aren't watching. Uh, we there's actually a place where you can paste your YouTube video link. I just noted that now, but I've downloaded a short uh, video uh, from Mike and I from Antics, and we're just gonna drag and drop that here into the browser. Yeah, I noticed too just now, of course, right that they have a demo video you could play around with. But let's do let's do our stuff because like it's us, right? Like we know what we would want. Sure. And I drop that in there. There we go. Uh we're going to hit the <laughs> proceed from the dark button. web. From the <laughs> yeah, dark just... web. That's this is going to be great. I can't wait to see what this is. <laughs> one of our one of our coherent or incoherent clips here. It's uh, even though you've edited it, you've yeah. already forgotten about it. And that's what I love is uh, there's a lot of stuff that never really sees the light of day. There's other stuff that we edit and kind of forget about and then stumble back across. Like the the extended scenes uh, like of this show, <laughs> yes. you'd be amazed. Like there's, there's yep. probably a thousand hours of footage. Yeah, we truly have fun with what we do. Yes. Uh, we, we definitely enjoy each other's company. That's for sure. Yeah. Now, whether anybody else finds us as hilarious as we find each other, <laughs> that's yet to be seen. I guess. Yeah. Well, hey, my dad said we're great. So <laughs> that's all that matters, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so it's transcribed the video on the left side. Again, this is typically what we see with Descript mm -hmm. and many yep. of the other programs. Uh, it's it's telling us on the right. One of the neat things with this application I've noticed so far is that at, at each turn, it's popping up, you know, some kind of inform informative dialogue box, to, you know, to let you know uh, what it is that it's doing, like show tips. All right, so, uh, so it's transcribed it on the left. Uh, again, it's only a minute video, so it's short. Uh, what's the highlights? No highlights. What do we think? We just hit. Uh... Let's let's. I guess. Uh, what is do we it have? Customize? Is that? Yeah. It's oh, custom. okay. So okay. this one has it has a slider buttons for remove filler words, which Descript has that as well. Uh, remove silences. Um, you know what? This just, is where we get to the, the lab? meat and potato. <laughs> you right. know how excited I am to see if this does it well. Like. All right. <laughs> We've had problems yeah. with this. It's it's really well. We had to rough. do it by hand. Yeah, yeah, I do it by hand so much because it's like if you do it all in bulk, it never like it's it's choppy, and we don't right. like choppy. All right, let's try this. Let's try it. So we're gonna we're gonna click on the remove filler words. I've already seen something just disappear. We're gonna remove silences uh, for more than two seconds. Yeah, we'll hit OK. Uh, both of those things turned on. Uh, we were at one minute seven seconds. Do you see a time, Mike? Did it adjust the time for the video? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, so we've lost about 10 seconds off the video. So it was, it was a minute seven, and now here it's. I mean, that, that, that's good, right? That's like 10% of the thing, we'll right? So, we'll see yeah. If it's good. <laughs> well, yeah. Good in theory. Uh, that's right. So uh, let's customize. Yeah, let's video, see what they got. All right, so, it, uh, so we've hit the customize video. It's now rendering very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like it cut uh, 11 scenes total. Okay, so similar to Canva, it's giving me a Canva vibe. Yep. Yep. yep very. Uh, I'm just gonna hit preview. I, I just want to see what you know, see what it came out with, and the video previews rendering. Okay, so it's giving us a timeline at the bottom. Welcome yes. to artificial antics. <laughs> I'm coming straight at you from the dark web. Here we're creating Emmy, which is the third member of the podcast. We didn't even have the new lab at this time, Rico. No. Nope. Doing it, folks. You can't wait to see it. We're gonna show her what fun is before we sell her to a tech. Company. Yes, this is uh, a million for one. This was the weird science yes. uh, antic episode. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah. Yes. It's, yeah. A, it's bringing back the memories. Uh, we're gonna write a story about. So you, you know, do see some choppiness, future. you know, yeah, the way we're moving we'll around a little bit. Well, it depends have... really on like whether that choppiness is actually there in the in the final product, right? Like. Let's let's actually like copy that preview link and send it to me. Okay. Yeah, yep. and I'll so, and I'll view it. I'm gonna pop that to you in disc. Sounds good. Yeah. So you know, Rico, thanks for sending me that link. I did take sure. a look at the at the video through the copy link, and honestly, it was a bit choppy in there, right? Like right. there's some audio choppiness, there's some video choppiness. So I'm I'm not sure if you know like you, you hit download. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can we can just uh, fire it off because it really doesn't matter. We're gonna be we're just testing this out. So let's hit right. download video, play it on your local machine, and see if there's that same choppiness because I'm super curious, right? Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Spreadsheet video, of man. social posts. Yeah, that's I cool. See that, there. that that's really cool. We should once you do this, we should take a look at that really quick because folks, this is one of those things where. Um, Canva and other tools will allow you to uh, create a spreadsheet of a bunch of different posts, right? With a, mm -hmm. with the different you know different themes, and it'll actually generate about a bunch of stuff for you automatically. So you can just like rapid fire a bunch of TikToks out or whatnot, right? Uh, or Instagram mm -hmm. posts or whatnot. And so that's kind of cool. That I, I again, this makes me think like. Are these guys in cahoots? Like, is it the exact same company behind the scenes? Very yeah, similar. Yeah. So we'll I'll have to I'll have to take a look at that, and we'll probably in the final cut here we'll probably have an answer to that because I'm super curious. Okay, uh, so, so what it's doing now? Yeah, it's yeah. preparing. It's preparing the video. So our video is now ready. Uh, what'd that take, Mike? Maybe a minute. If About a that. minute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so we're gonna download. Play this on the regular. On the regular schmegler. Welcome yes. to Artificial Antics. I'm coming straight at you from the dark web. Here we're creating <laughs> Emmy, which is the third member of the podcast. On your side, yeah. the flag? The same. I don't know if you caught that or not on your end. I caught it. Oh, I caught it, but I thought it might be the yeah. web. So definitely, you know, where it's removed the filler words, it's removed those two-second Oh, pauses. that's why, it, that's getting... why it's choppy. 
Dude, like, so folks, just to let you know, every product we've tried that removes filler words and gaps like silences, it's killer, man. Like, it's it ends up being choppy. The audio is choppy. The video is choppy, right? And you can't honestly, you you can't help but to see some of those jump cuts, right? Like, if you look at right. any video and you start video. to understand like how video editing goes, jump cuts are everywhere. People cover it with B-roll and different stuff like that, which B-roll, if you don't know what it is, is like you'll show like another image or a video of kind of like the relational to what you're saying, but your face right. isn't viewable at that time, right? And uh, and so you could use B-roll to do, you know, a lot of that like where you'd have really Common rough jumps. Yeah, that type of thing. yep, exactly, yeah. exactly. So so this is cool. One thing, folks, while we were waiting for that to convert is uh, we were thinking, oh, well, is Pictory the same company as Canva? I went and looked that up and they're actually competitors. So, uh, and I thought about it and I, I realized that I actually tried out Pictory at the very beginning of my journey when I was like assessing different video editors and text to video. And uh, I, when I was looking at Descript originally and ultimately I landed on Descript, we love that product. It, it's got its little really things, good. but it's yep. like so, so it's good in comparison yeah. to many things, right? It gives you kind of a script like Pick3 does, but like the overall functionality of it is like, m feels much more of like a, a true app, right? Whereas yep. uh, Pick3, you know, like it, it's, it seems very powerful to me and I like the ideas, but like we've run into a few like, they're, they're rough spots, right? Like the voice, right. like, why? And there's not much you can I, do. I with even them. have the voices. You know, like to me, right. I, now I'm a perfectionist to some degree, but I would literally say, oh, we're not going to have the voices till we can do the voices right, right? Like that isn't the thing, right? Who, who wants Just throw it to, right? all. It's all <laughs> or none. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, even my dad, like he, he's a real quality guy and he's been doing some text to video stuff and text to speech stuff. And if you know he's he knows when it's ai and when it's not generally and sometimes it's very hard to tell in that case every one of those voices sounded like ai to me right it was really rough so definitely i'm like brian thanks brian that's right thanks 11 labs <laughs> yes yes 11 labs 11 labs to me audio wise text to audio it's the the absolute pinnacle i mean it's just so good so and we've got the episode sure. on that folks as well so don't forget to check that one out all right so yeah so we've uh we've been through each one we haven't been now. through visuals visuals today. you got to do it like just do an image just do a, a couple images or something and let's see you know what i might have something for this uh so we are going to add some imagery that uh uh, Mike has so graciously presented us with. So I'll just explain while Rico's figuring this out, I'll, I'll just explain what I was trying to do oh, with yeah. these with these four images. So there's a program called Runway ML. Runway also has text to video and I was playing around with it a little bit. Um, they also have image to video, which is what we're about to try here. And what I was trying to do was I was trying to create a scene where Christopher Walken and Darth Vader have a bar fight, get in a bar fight, right? And so I used Mid Journey to generate these images. It took me a while to get these four images. And uh, and and so I will tell you my my experience with Runway was not super great. I'm interested to see what uh, what Pictory does here. I see five images though. Which I, I think can't. there's some sort of a problem there. I so. don't. Problem? I, uh, I'm I'm not certain what how this. Ended they don't up even show here. the images. Like it's and just uh, yeah, so I can't. Uh... Why don't you just start over? Like wait wait wait. Like, let's see if just, I let's see if I yeah. Just click on the background. Right. Just click on that that uh, gray background and get out of this modal. It's all falling apart. It's right all there, going right, to heck. No here. no left down. Okay. See, we were just oh. talking about this, Rico. All right. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Uh, let's see. So we're going to proceed. Do with us this time. Oh, now what do you Oh, it's a slideshow video. video? Yeah. This this is not going to be great, but let, let's let's give it a try anyway. For the love of the game. For real. And all, honestly, I'm really... Uh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang. So thank, thankfully, uh, we actually named them the numbers that they are in the sequence uh, because you couldn't see the previews there. So what what good is that? Again, we're back to the templates library. Mike, you want to choose your dude, template? I, what did you have in no, mind? There's no template. For a bar like, fight. There's no template. <laughs> like, I just want to see this become a video, really. 
<laughs> I'm not asking for a lot. Yeah. I want to see Christopher Walken. That's all and Darth I Vader see. fight. Yeah, uh, that's like, all I'm asking that's, for. That's, that's it. So that's much? it. Yeah, they're both super gritty. I just want to see it happen. Where's the AI that's taking over the world that's going to make this happen? Right. Then? Yeah. What's going on here? I was promised a rose garden. Oh goodness. Uh, yeah. All right, so we got our four images. It looks like, like Mike said, it's going to be a, a slideshow. Uh, underwhelming. Just do a preview. But, but, Just do a preview. Uh, here, here we go. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. But, you know. I love this music behind the scenes, though. This is really good. No. All right. Well, anyway, this is that's fine. I'm glad. Thanks. Thanks, Pictory. Thanks for giving it a try. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I, you know, I don't, here's the deal, right? I, and this is going to be like kind of one of those takes. You know, we're nearing the end of the video here and right. the episode. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, folks, this to me, I have tried. And I know I know that if I were to spend a bunch of time, there are some other things I can do to get like a video to tra actual text to video to like transition a little bit better. Runway has mm -hmm. some tools that are better than this, better than what I've seen here. And it just right. takes a lot of frames, right? Like, so you just get those frames together. It's kind of like doing cartoon art, right? Like you have your, you know, mm -hmm. your initial one, your different sprites and you, you're tweening between, you know, the different uh, frames. And so it's, it's going to be similar to that. Honestly, I'm sure that the more frames you have, right. The less it has to fill in, hence the better it can do. Right. So my point is that I can't give it four images and say, Hey, create that as an awesome movie. And like, it just doesn't, <laughs> right. right. Like it just so did not do that. Making. Yep. Right. Yeah, so there you have it, folks. There's Pictory AI. It was a fun experiment, as as most experiments in the lab are, uh, but uh, kind of over underwhelming. They have some some areas to improve upon. Definitely their uh, their voice stuff, uh, and you know, overall, it seems relatively easy to use as far as their AI uh, speech. You know, the text to speech. Uh, not really great there you can definitely tell this ai uh, and we kind of thought that there would be more text to video type options there i could definitely see some applications uh you know with pixery.ai but i think they have a, yeah, bit, a yeah. bit of work to do that's all so you know fun to fun to check it out here in the lab but what do you think mike yeah i i would agree with with all of that and i think that um they, they i think you know what i think rico I think they are trying to compete in a world where every tool does a lot of things. They right. do a lot. So if you look at the bullet items of the things that they do, they show a lot of things. What they don't do, I don't think, is anything excellently. Right. And they're not they the don't have one. a com yeah, to me, they don't have a competitive advantage. They have a list of things and you know what honestly folks, like it's it's hard, right? Like I look at like even great tools that people love, like ones that I use all the time like Runway and different stuff and all of it they have, you know, their shortcomings yep. and they're all, you know, they're all the worst that they'll ever be today. So they're all getting better. Pictory is going to get better too. I think that they've done some great things. I think it has some, some serious rough edges that the AI voice was probably the one thing that turned me off the most. You know, I thought Definitely. to myself like, gosh, there are much better options, right? Like I think if they collaborated with 11 labs or- Hey Jen, man, hey Jen, 11 labs, yeah. Yes, absolutely. yes, exactly, exactly. Now what's interesting is that hey Jen and one of Pictory's competitors, uh, Canva, actually did do a collaboration because this type of stuff is like, if you could do it and you can collab and, and stay in your lane and do it really well, and then Canva right. can do its thing well, and you know, like uh, hey Jen does its thing well, but they both work together, that's yeah. huge, right? Same with ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT OpenAI just released a plugin for Canva, right? Which you mm -hmm. can actually build out your Canva slides and get ideas and stuff instead of going and pasting back and forth. It's a plugin, and Rico and I are going to play around with that a little bit too. Uh, that's not really text to video, but we're going to do an AI bite on that. And uh, and so I think that you know a big part of this industry right is really teaming up with other people that have their niches and something that's complementary to what you're doing, right? And then you collaborate, right? And, and everybody wins. And I feel like for audio, like text-to-speech, 11 labs, I just, I'll tell you what, here's a challenge. 
Show me something that's better than 11 Labs for text-to-speech. I can't wait to hear the answers on that one. I'm really, I'm excited to get feedback because even if something even comes close but has some additional functionality that 11 doesn't have, like, I'd be very surprised. I mean, 11 Labs is just so good. It's so good that I'd like pay for it and then use it to like import the text and, and do all the work of syncing and everything else because the voice is so good in 11 Labs. It's that good. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So folks, if you want to reach out to us, we're at antics.tv. Please check us out on all of our socials, interact with them, like and subscribe, share it with a friend. We would love to hear what you think about the podcast. If you'd like to hear more or see more on any topic that we've covered so far, or you want to see us cover a new topic of something you're interested in, please reach out to us. So again, antics.tv. Uh, we are artificial antics. I am Rico and Mike. Yeah, um, I think that I pretty much said as much as I need to say, Rico. <laughs> uh, looking forward to seeing everybody back in the lab soon. And uh, yeah, we're out. Antics, baby.